If someone would come into my house at its worst, they would have seen like, like a tunnel. When I go shopping, I don't think about the hoarding. I think about how it's going to make my life better. Hoarding is a potentially debilitating disorder where people accumulate more and more things in their home uh, clutter to the point that they are no longer able to use their house for its intended purpose. We're having an avalanche. You can't get through there without knocking something off. And, and she I would do have, it she every day. Have, it's your stuff. I know it's my stuff. Okay. I was diagnosed um, eight years ago that I had the hoarding disorder, I didn't even know it existed. We estimate around two million people in the United States alone are impacted by hoarding. I knew I needed help. I knew it was so out of hand. You know, my husband and I fought about it all the time. Oh, no, 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 it's not back there, sweetie. Absolutely ridiculous. My sense of Laura was that she was very isolated in her world. I want you to Think about something with me. What is a thought that you have had that is really upsetting about this whole hoarding process? Then I'm affecting the kids' I'm lives. I'm affecting the kids' lives. Okay. It's like I've got two parts inside of me. One part that says, okay, you've got to do what's best for your family. You've got to get rid of stuff. You can't keep everything. And one part that says, you know, it, that's, that's safety. The hold of the obsession of hoarding is incredibly strong, and I like to look at it and explain it as an addictive process. People become addicted to not letting go of their things. Doing the show, just, just having people I could talk to that understood me, it's the first time anybody understood. Mm -hmm. Are you going to help me? Yes. You promise? I promise. We'll get through this. The public perception of people who hoard is that they are lazy or unmotivated in some way, and that couldn't be less true. We'll do whatever it takes. You know what, what if I can't get rid of it? The people that don't understand it, you really hurt us by telling us we're lazy. We're not. It's hard to be a hoarder. It's a lot of hard work. Trying to cook your dinner on a space this big. And now my kitchen's clean. It's ten times, it's a hundred times, a thousand times easier to live my life. Those two sides are fighting, so that's something that, you know, I know over time I'm going to be dealing with forever, but I need to, to learn how to keep the correct side winning. Orders are always in the process of recovering, and that, you know, it may be a lifelong battle to change their thinking and behaviors, but with the right motivation and the right kind of help and resources, I believe that's possible.